Good afternoon guys and welcome to Madison, Wisconsin. Today we're going to talk about one of the darker days in music history. But first, if this is your first time here, please hit that subscribe button so you make sure to catch all future videos. There's going to be a lot of cool stuff coming up and there's already a lot of good stuff behind us. But for today, we are here in Madison, Wisconsin. This is Lake Monona. On December 10th of 1967, Otis Redding and his band The Bar Kays we're scheduled to play a show at a music venue here called The Factory, which we're going to go and see later and see if it still exists. His only number one hit, Sitting on the Dock of the Bay, was re-recorded only three days before this plane crash, so he never lived to see the release of the song that would eventually get him inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Now on December 9th of 1967, Otis Redding was in Cleveland, Ohio to appear on the television show Upbeat and also played three concerts at a place called Leo's Casino. After the final show, Otis and his band boarded a Beechcraft H-18 plane, with the destination being Truax Field here in Madison. The weather was poor with heavy rain and fog. Once they were four miles out, pilot Richard Fraser radioed in for permission to land, and within minutes, the plane crashed here into Lake Monona. Others killed in this crash were four members of the Bar Kays, including guitarist Jimmy King, saxophonist Phelan Jones, organist Ronnie Caldwell, and drummer Carl Cunningham, along with valet Matthew Kelly and pilot Richard Frazier. The next day, Redding's body was recovered during a search of the lake. Sitting on the Dock of the Bay was released in January of 1968 and sold 4 million copies, reaching number one on the Billboard charts. Otis Redding is widely known as one of the best soul artists of all time. A small fun fact also, the opening band for Otis Redding that night was going to be the Grim Reapers, which was the first rendition of Cheap Trick led by Rick Nielsen. Now, as I mentioned before, his final show was scheduled to be at a place called The Factory, and the address for that is 315 West Gorham Street. It was a widely known place in Madison. Jimi Hendrix played there back in the day, amongst many others. Uh, but we are going to go take a look and see what's standing there now, and... Uh, Last I knew it was a bookstore, but here's one last look out at Lake Monona, which is where the Otis Redding crash happened. Well, this is a little bit of a bummer. So the place that used to be the factory here where Jimi Hendrix played, where Otis Redding had his last tour date scheduled, is right here. They tore it down. Um, that's, you know... For those of you that watch my channel, you know that I love history. I love to preserve these places. And it really kind of sucks seeing that when these places have been torn down. But I suppose that's all she wrote. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on Otis Redding. Please keep an eye out for future videos. I got a lot of really good stuff coming up in the coming weeks. Thanks so much for watching and have a great rest of your weekend, everybody.